Robert Boyle. Robert Boyle was an Anglo-Irish natural philosopher, chemist, physicist and inventor. Boyle is largely regarded today as the first modern chemist and therefore one of the founders of modern chemistry and one of the pioneers of modern experimental scientific methods. Boyle was best known as a natural philosopher, particularly in the field of chemistry. But his scientific works covered many areas including hydrostatics, physics, medicine, earth science and alchemy. He sponsored many religious missions as well as the translation of scriptures into several languages. Boyle was born on 25th January 1627 at Lismore Castle in County Waterford, Ireland as the 7th son and 14th child of Richard Boyle and Catherine Fenden. Robert was tutored in Latin, Greek and French and was sent to Eton College when he was 8 years old. In 1641, he travelled to Florence with his French tutor and spent the winter studying with Galileo Galilei. In 1654, Boyle left Ireland for Oxford to pursue his work more successfully. In 1659, he and Robert Hooke, the clever inventor and subsequent curator of experiments for the Royal Society, completed the construction of their famous air pump and used it to study pneumatics. Their certain discoveries regarding air pressure and vacuum appeared in Boyle's first scientific publication, New Experiments Physico-Mechanical, Touching the Spring of the Air and Its Effects, which was published in the year 1660. Boyle and Hooke discovered several physical characteristics of air, including its role in combustion, respiration, and the transmission of sound. One of their findings, published in 1662, later became known as the Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law describes the inversely proportional relationship between the pressure and volume of gas, enclosed in a closed system if the temperature is kept constant. That is, at constant temperature, pressure is directly proportional to 1 by V, which means as volume increases, pressure decreases and vice versa. It can further be written as P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2, where P is the pressure of the gas and V is the volume of the gas. In 1660, Boyle helped to found the Royal Society of London. It is the oldest national scientific society in the world and the leading national organization for the promotion of scientific research in Britain. Boyle's contributions to chemistry were based on a mechanical corpuscularian hypothesis, a brand of atomism which claimed that everything was composed of minute particles of a single universal matter and that these particles were only differentiable by their shape and motion. Among his most influential writings were the Septical Chemist, which exiled the Aristotelian and especially Paracelsian notions about the composition of matter and methods of chemical analysis. Boyle also maintained a lifelong pursuit of transmutational alchemy, enduring to discover the secret of transmuting base metals into gold. Overall, Boyle argued so strongly for the need of applying the principles and methods of chemistry to the study of the natural world and to medicine that he later gained the appellation of the father of chemistry. In addition to philosophy, Boyle also devoted much time to theology. Boyle incorporated his scientific interest into his theology believing that natural philosophy could provide powerful evidence for the existence of God. Living in London also provided him the opportunity to participate actively in the Royal Society. Boyle was a genial man who achieved both national and international renowns during his lifetime. He was offered the presidency of the Royal Society in 1680 and the Episcopacy but declined both. Throughout his adult life, Boyle was sickly, suffering from weak eyes, hands, recurring illnesses, and one or more strokes. He died of a stroke at his age of 64 on 31st December 1691. Boyle has written many books in theology as well as in science. Some of his famous works include The Sceptical Chemist, 
new experiments physico mechanical touching the spring of the air and its effects some motives and incentives to the love of god i conclude this video saying the famous quote by robert boyle remember to give glory to the one who ordered nature thank you